We are going over the Intro to One-Step Equations Guide Notes, my learning targets I can determine if the given value makes one variable one-step equations true. So an equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign. So an equation has a missing number, and that is represented by a variable. And whatever that missing number is that is represented by the variable makes the sentence true. So the number that represents the variable is called the solution. And you can prove the sentence to be true or false by substituting the given number for the variable. So we are going to do this in this first example. It says, is x equals negative 5, the solution for x plus 3 equals negative 2. Graph the solution. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. And then I'm going to substitute negative 5 for x. So negative 5 plus 3. Does that equal negative 2? So I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract and take the sign of the greater absolute value. So this would be negative 2 equals negative 2. So this is true. And then when it says graph the solution, I'm going to draw a number line. And the solution is 5, so I'm going to draw a closed circle on 5. All right, example number two. Is x equals negative six the solution for five x equals 30? Graph the solution if it's true. So I have five x equals 30. So I'm gonna plug that in. Negative six, I'm gonna substitute. So if I multiply a positive and a negative, I'm gonna get negative 30 equals 30. And this is not true. This is a false statement. So negative 6 is not a solution for 5x equals 30. All right, if I were to model a one-step equation, I'm modeling, in this case, 3x equals 6. So I have drawn three positive x's, and then it's going to equal a positive 6. In this case, this is x minus, oops, x minus 5 equals 3, so I'm going to draw 1x, and then I'm going to treat this as a negative 5, so 5 negatives, and that equals positive 3. All right, let's do the practice problems below. So this says model 4x equals 8, so I'm going to draw 4x's. And then equals positive 8. All right, this one says, is x equals 3 the solution for 5x equals 20? Graph the solution. So I'm rewriting 5x equals 20. I'm going to substitute 3. 
5 times 3 is 15. So this does not equal 20, so this is false. All right, this says model x minus 2 equals 7. So 1x, then 2 negatives equals positive 7. All right, number four. Is x equals two the solution for 12 plus x equals 14? Graph the solution. So 12 plus x equals 14. 12 plus two equals 14. That does indeed equal 14, so this is true. Then I'm going to graph the solution. So it equals two. All right, number five, model six X equals three. Last one is x equals negative 7. The solution for negative 8x equals 56. Graph the solution. So negative 8x equals 56. Substitute x with negative 7. A negative times a negative is a positive. 8 times 7 is 56. So this is true. And then I'm going to graph the solution. Thanks for watching.